Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here again from HolsingersFlyShop.com uh, bringing you another wet fly today. This is another one of the flies that I picked up on my Penns Creek fishing trip. Um, just a generic searching pattern here. Uh, not really resembling anything, just a good wet fly, a tractor fly we'll call it. I'm going to start out with a size 14 Daiichi 1560 wet fly hook, um, some black thread. Next thing I'm going to put on is a piece of pearl mylar tinsel. Um, this fly is called um, partridge, partridge and Flash. I'm going to substitute the partridge like I always do with a Brahma hen. But right now we're putting on the Flash, which is the my, pearl mylar tinsel. We're just going to wrap that down on top and wrap it back to the bend of the hook. and then wrap it forward again and we're just going to cover this the hook shank with the mylar tinsel and that's going to give you the flash part of the fly just going to continue to wrap this the whole way up to right behind the eye there where we stopped our thread So I was fishing this one today, I was fishing wet flies, this with my March Brown pattern and did real well on the March Brown pattern. Um, getting back into my wet fly fishing again, going back to back to where I started, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Um, you know you don't always see them feeding on top like with the dry flies and stuff so the dry fly hatch isn't always there. But even though they're not feeding on top, doesn't mean they're not feeding right under the surface with the wet flies. And you get a lot of the same exciting action that you do dry fly fishing wet flies. You'll see them take the strike, you'll see them take the fly a lot of times because your fly's swinging right up to the top of the water. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of light shade rainbow scud dub. You can use any cream. I, I like the ice dub look to it. The, the scud dub has the that flashy ice dub look to it. Um, I just don't have any like a cream ice dub on me here. This is the closest I had to what I wanted. So I'm going to use it. And we're just going to dub a little bit on here. We're not going to put a whole lot on here. We're just making a ball. Just making a real small ball there to get your hackle to stand up on top of that mylar tinsel. If you don't, it'll just lay down real, it'll, it'll fall right down on the body. We want to have a reason for that hackle to stand up here. Okay, like I said, just gonna get a little bit too much here. I'll pull some of this off. Unwrap one and tighten it back up. Okay, and there we have our ball. Okay, now I'm gonna got a little bit of stragglers here, so I'm gonna trim these off. Okay, that gives me my ball there. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is I want to put my hackle on, and for my hackle, like I said, this is a partridge in flash, but I don't always use partridge. Um, I use Brahma hen as a substitute for it. And I'm going to use it like I always do. I'm going to use a golden brown, dyed golden brown. And we're going to use, let me zoom out here for you. This is a Brahma hen cape that we always use. You see I already got the one side plucked off. We're going to use this side patch right here, the nice mottled feathers on the side. These are the ones I like to use. Now it's a size 14, so I'm going to use the ones up here towards the top. They're the smaller ones on this on this patch right here. So I'm going to use them, I'm going to pluck it off and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. Let me zoom back in. Focus there. Okay, I'm going to take one of these feathers and what I'm going to do is I don't want this real thick on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the feather and peel the the marabou part off at the bottom here just so it's easier to work with easier to show you okay now I'm gonna take 
and pinch the end so I get the hackle length at the right length that I want. Then once I get that to where I want, you see I'm going to have a tag in. This is what I'm going to tie down. But before I do that, I don't want this, I don't want too much hackle on there. And I just ruined that fly. So I'm going to take another one. One second here. Okay, I'm going to get another one here to show you. I, I pulled off, what I was doing was I'm pulling off one side of the fibers here. And I pulled off the wrong side. So I'll come back in here and show you this again. Okay. Gonna get the feather where I want it, the right length for the for the fly. You don't want it too long, you want it to be the length, you know, from where you're tying it down to about right here. You don't want it to go past that. And like I said, I'm gonna pick out the end, then I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna peel off one side and I did it again so what we're just gonna do you see there I peeled off and I peeled off my tag so we're just gonna make the tag out of a couple of these fibers here okay you see that how I just pulled back a couple fibers let me get the good camera angle there left a couple fibers at the top just going to tie them down. We'll loose loop it and then tie it down. Okay, then we're just going to, like I said, I want this real sparse. I just want their, the effect of the, you know, like the legs, the emerging wings here. I don't want a lot of uh, fibers hang, hanging on this. So we're just going to, because I, peeled off both sides, I mean one side of it, that, you know, lessened the number of fibers I'll have on it, so I'll wrap the whole thing. If I was to wrap, if I wasn't going to peel the one side off, I would only make like three wraps on there, at the, at the very, very most, probably only two. Okay, now that I have that wrapped off, I'm just going to cut this off. Come back, take my fingers, I'm going to slide it back over the head, pull them fibers back into place where I want them, and just wrap them enough that I get them laying backwards and not standing straight up. And uh, come in, we're going to wrap off and make a nice head here. Come in with the whip finish. And that is all that is to the Partridge and Flash. Very, very simple, very easy wet fly to tie. Uh, like I said, a tractor wet fly. Um, very simple. It's a very good one to f be fishing this time of year. You know, you're, when you're just out searching, the great thing about wet flies is you can cover a lot of water with them. Uh, Great pattern, give it a try. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I got a link up on the top there. The material you see to tie these vid these flies, you can buy from our website at holsingersflyshop.com. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. Thanks again for watching. I'm Sean Holsinger.